Supplementary question. No further supplementaries. Then question number seven, Dr. Russell Norman. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, my question, my question is to the Minister for the Environment. Uh, did the Ministry for the Environment prevent the Tasman District Council from testing for dioxin in the air coming out of the stack at the Mapua Toxic Cleanup Site? And if so, why? Uh, the Honourable Trevor Mallow. Uh, Madam Speaker, I advise that the Tasman District Council requested sampling from the Mapua Remediation Plant. Uh, after discussions with the TDC and the peer review panel um, of experts, the monitoring of dioxins within the carbon filter was decided on by the Ministry. The test results were provided to the peer review panel, who advised that they provided, quote, very good assurance of a clearly acceptable low level of dioxin formation in the dryer and very low levels of dioxins in the emissions from the carbon filter. A supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Is the Minister aware that the plant was operating for more than a year between May 2005 and September 2006, despite written concerns from the Tasman District Council to Ministry for the Environment about dioxin emissions, and that during that time his ministry used legal means to block testing for this highly poisonous chemical even after, even after the District Council offered to pay for the tests? Uh, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Madam Speaker, as I think I indicated to the member in the previous uh, reply, there was a different form of testing for dioxins. Supplementary question. Uh, Sir William Sauer. Uh, Madam Speaker, supplementary to the Minister. What is he or the Ministry doing to resolve these matters and move forward? The Honourable Trevor Mallow. Madam Speaker, I understand that the CEO of the Ministry for the Environment is in the process of engaging uh, an independent Australian remediation expert to review the processes used at Mapua. Uh, the review will include the Ministry's decision-making systems and the review will be tasked with providing advice on what needs to be done in the future. This should provide assurance around Mapua itself uh, as well as to ensure whatever uh, possible uh, wherever possible, the problem is not repeated in future clean-up sites. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Is the Minister aware that after the Ministry for the Environment finally lost its battle to stop the District Council testing the carbon filters for dioxin, the day before the first tests were due, the company running the clean-up operation, which had a very close relationship with the Ministry, took the carbon filters that were to be tested and destroyed them, removing all the evidence. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Madam Speaker, that, this is the first time that that allegation has been made to me. Uh, any supplementaries? Point of order? Dr Russell. Oh, no, supplementary? No, there's no further supplementaries, I'm sorry. They've got one more. Supplementary? Five today. Right. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Can the Minister confirm that Tasman District Council was only allowed to test for dioxin in the stack air, as opposed to the carbon filters in the air itself, a year and a half after they raised their concerns and only after a formal request from the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment, and that when the test was done, the temperature of the plant was turned down to produce less dioxin, and then after the test was done, the temperature was turned back up again for normal operations? Speaker. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. No. Uh, any further supplementaries? A point of order. Uh, <coughs> no, no, speaker, Jerry I'm just Brunner. thinking about just thinking about your um, uh, discussion, little discussion here with uh, Dr. Norman, where you were uh, uh, saying you took the number of supplementaries that he had available. Am I right in thinking that um, Dr. Norman took one from next week or something, or he had an extra one today or something? No, it's the same uh, process that the members uh, also um, uh, followed with another member in this House. So there's been That's an right. allocation of supplementaries so, uh, speaker, to some, uh, Mr some Hyde, I understand. Right. Some yeah. time ago, um, mm. I recall you saying that members could, and use, could in fact use a supplementary on a particular day uh, in lieu of a supplementary they might use on another day. Is that still your position? As long as I'm notified of that fact, and therefore we know what the numbers are, the member uh, from some of the smaller parties has in fact done that, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 
in the same week. It can't be transferred forever in a day. It has to be done in the week. Uh, Dr. Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I seek leave to table a letter from the Tasman District Council dated uh, 15th of June 2006, at which they raise concerns about significant discharges or the potential for significant discharges of dioxin and seeking the ability to test Leave a for sort. Those is there any objection? No objection. A point of order, Dr. Russell. Uh, thank you. I seek leave to table a letter from the Ministry for the Environment dated July 2006, at which they deny that attempt to test for those discharges. Leave a sort to table a document. The Is there department. any objection? No objection. Uh, question number eight.